and welcome to Chakra TV and welcome to another episode of a Simple Talks with me, Minol D. Today, I have with me one of my old good friends, Spike. Uh, let me reveal his real name. Is that okay? Yeah, that's very good. Why don't you be honest? Hey guys, uh, Manu Javadana, also known as Spike. It's, it's a pleasure to be in the studio with Minol D. So, uh, Talks with uh, Minol. Minol, yes. And uh, yep, Manoj, uh, let me just call him Spike. Yeah, so let's I go think by that. That's a Spike uh, he's one of the, uh, uh, what can I say, uh, hip hop rap artist and also a producer. So uh, after many invitations, and uh, I have finally come to your studio. It's good to be here and it's a lovely setup. And we'll talk about that as we go on. So let's get sure. things rolling. Yeah. To start things off, I want to ask you, when did you get into music? And was there any particular reason behind it? It was long as ago, you know, uh, probably I would say in 90s and uh, you know how I got into music was very interesting because the first spark which I had to become a musician rather a singer was uh, I had the opportunity to, to listen to uh, John Cicada because mm-hmm. my brother had a cassette which he used to listen over and over that was I think it was in 1996 or 1997 mm-hmm. and I uh, fell in love with John Cicada, it's just another day without you. So that was the song I first listened to and uh, I instantly fell in love with the song. So I was like, I need to sing. And then I got my hands on uh, a cassette of Backstreet Boys. So I still remember it was as long as you love me and I, I loved it. So that moment really changed my life and I wanted to be a singer. So it brought me all this way. Then eventually there were a few other artists who I got inspired by. So yeah, and I became an I became an artist. What was your first song? Which I released? Yeah. One of the originals? originals? The first song that I released as an original artist was a single song called uh, Mithuri. I still um, I, I still have a band. We have a band called Sanskuti. Myself and uh, Nalin Lien again, Big Charlotte Nalin. We still are a band and we haven't been releasing music quite often but we have unreleased music so we are planning to release them probably uh, in the future. We have taken a we have taken a break, uh, almost uh, a long break I should say. <laughs> but what happened, you know, it was um, we released Mithuri and then we released another song by the name Sandhya Thaniyata and then I shifted to English music full time. So then I've been doing music, uh, English music uh, all these years and uh, Nalini is not in Sri Lanka right now. But we have some, we have some uh, production which are uh, in the making right now. So hopefully in the future we will come up with some singular music by Sanskrit as well. So why from singular music to uh, Western music? Uh, Is there any reason behind it? In fact, um, we always want to do singular, singular music, and that's my WhatsApp popping in the background. Uh, then I, I wanted to do something which could reach a different market, a bigger market, I would say. So I realized doing singular music. I do not say singular music will only, uh, you know, frame you to a smaller market, but as it's all agreed, you know, English is what's what we consider as the uh, international language, right? So I got inspired by uh, a lot of artists to name. Um, you know, how I became a rapper was quite a coincidence because the first album which made me feel like I want to be a rapper was Linkin Park's Hybrid Theory. So I still remember I was doing my uh, O-Levels when I got Hybrid Theory into my hands. And it was from one of my friends. I came home, I listened to the album for about two weeks at a stretch. Everything, even even up even up, even to, even today. Like even now if uh, hybrid theory is an album is an album which is very special to me because whenever I feel like I need some motivation, inspiration, inspiration, I always theory. listen to hybrid theory. The moment I hear paper cut, I'm like Unfortunately, my just is no more. Yes, that's very unfortunate. So, uh, you know, Linkin Park did change my life a lot. 
Yeah, so, so they, they inspired you to become a rapper. They inspired me. Mike Shinoda inspired me to be a rapper. Mm-hmm. So that's how it all started. Mm-hmm. So I was a, I was, I was really fascinated with the uh, John Sakara, as I said, then Backstreet Boys. I was a, I was a pop guy, and then in sync. Then I got my hands on uh, I went to Linkin Park and uh, Evanescence. So that's it has been actually uh, quite so a bit of rock, bit of rap. Rap, you know? yes, it's it, it's a bit of both. Mm-hmm. And then I found out about Dr. Dre and instantly fell in love with his music. And, uh, yeah, so how a, how was uh, the rap scene back then when you started off? Uh, there were there weren't many rappers. There were only a few. Big Shadow Shiraz, AK Root Boy, and I got the opportunity, and I was blessed that I got to work with him. And uh, who else was there? I could say uh, Big Shadow Red Drum, and uh, uh, they were called. Uh, how, how did I forget? So was it was it uh, sound? Uh, uh, that was Brown Red Nation. Was it no? No, no, no. Was no, no. Not Brown was, yeah. That was Red Shasta. Drum and uh, Smoke Carney. Red Drum and Smoke Carney, Big Shot, Red Drum and Smoke Carney. So they were, they were two rappers who were there in the same time that we were in. And uh, then um, who else was there? And it was it was long years ago, so it's yeah. I'm pretty sure like since I'm getting old, also like you know keep forgetting but certain now, things. But now okay, uh, it's like that. Now 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 I've been hearing that you wanted to get into the mass market. Now what is this change? It's not just getting into the mass market. All these years I was doing English music only. Then I realized when I can sing and sing a I should do something. And one reason I wanted to change was um, also a big shout out to Ashanti Omkar from BBC. Because when I met Ashanti, she was very convincing. She was like, Spike, you need to do Singhalese music because you can and you you need to think of it. So, Ashant is one person who convinced me that I should do some of his music as well. And also, Tisara Kadupitiya, he is a very good friend of mine. He always used to inspire me. He's like, uh, but you need to do single his music. And he has to listen to my single his music. He's like, you know, I love them. So, why don't you do some single his pro- uh, productions? So, then I thought, okay, fine. Like, you know, since it's bilingual, why should I do it? And uh, right now, I, I think uh, the world does not want to stick to one language. Actually, it's a mistake that I did. I uh, I was sticking to English music only. But I want to give it a try now. So that's what I'm doing right now. At least you are giving it a try now. Yeah. Tell us about the award that you won back in 2013, was it? Yes, it was yeah. 2013. I won the Best Rap Performance Award at the Music Video Awards for my debut Crossroads. Which was released in 2011 and the video was released in 2013. So I was, uh, I'm humble and I'm happy to say I won an award for my debut release. Yeah. Actually, and one of the first, I mean, one of the few artists who have won an award for rap artists, you know, yes. category. Yes. Indeed. So, indeed. So, apart from, uh, you know, being a rapper, now you're moving into art, more of an R&B singer as well. Yeah. So, what is this change, you know? Now, is rap not working here in Sri Lanka or? Rap is working in Sri Lanka, you know. I, I won't say it does, it, it does not work. Is there a market, you know? For English rap, there's a, there, is, there isn't a bigger market. Mm. Because I uh, can see all the artists who used to do English rap, they have switched to mm-hmm. single East rap. Even the bigger artists. Yeah. But I wanted to keep doing English music. But then I realized when I have... When I can do something, I should try that too. So it's all about trying something new, and I'm really excited about it. Yeah, yeah very good. And uh, also, a bit of a tough question. Yeah. How how hard it is uh, in Sri Lanka for an artist? How hard it is to uh, you know make a living? Let's just say that uh, being an artist. It is really tough if you are um, if you want to be an artist and fun, uh, and make a living. Unless you want to do something very commercial that people want to, you know, grab in an instance. So if you want to create something unique, it's going to be tough. And uh, 
because our market, the problem I see, you know, is our market is not very diverse because people, it depends on what media also emphasize people to listen to or what they want people to listen to. And when you consider our population, our fans also need to be educated a little more on what they like and what they uh, what they dislike. So it's more like people are forced to listen to something which is through the media, okay? through the media, which is very very general and uh, which we consider as a mass market. So, uh, what do you think about the uh, support that you get from the you know local TV radio stations? It's very disappointing to say because if you are an English artist, you will not get a lot of support from. Uh, media stations and I've been into uh, radio stations which they uh, you know declined uh, when they, they want to play my music they were like it's too I still remember in 2003 I took my debut song debut release Crossroads to a well known radio station which they declined saying it sounds too European so that was in 2000 that was in 2002 or 2001 okay. and you know, they were very blunt. They said, why don't you add a flute to it and make it sound like Sri Lanka? But it's very, uh, it's something, it's something good. Like, I'm really happy to see now people are getting into more Western music because back in the days, a lot of people were not doing music, uh, Western music like nowadays. Yeah. Now I see new artists coming out saying they are doing drill music, they are doing, uh, you know, trap. Because back in the days, none of that was there. Speaking of new artists now, you made me listen to some amazing tracks. Yes. You know? So yes. my talent. So what do you think about the change now? From where you were when you started off and to the talent that you see nowadays, how do you make that comparison? Uh, what, I feel, what I feel is, yeah, it has changed drastically and I feel happy. I feel, uh, you know, I feel like what I've been doing is finally paying, paying off because, you know, I kept doing it. And that is why I found out this artist. And big shout out to Babe on the beat. He is uh, one of my signed artists in my label, Spike Universe Records. And Spike Universe, when you speak about Spike Universe Records, it's uh, myself and Enzo, who has always been there with me for almost like two decades. And uh, Babe on the beat is the first artist who we signed up. And he's doing some amazing work. And we got Shay Love. Also, Christina, also known as Christina, and Josh, and we're working with KK. So, we got some good music coming out. So, I feel like what we were doing has paved this uh, opportunity for this young artist, come up. young upcoming artist. So, tell us about the Spike Universe, about your record label. Uh, Spike Universe is uh, my company. Uh, we uh, focus on a lot of different avenues. And Spike Universe Records is a record label and we also do productions for other artists. So right now, uh, it's three artists who are under Spike Universe Records directly, which is myself, Enzo and Babe on the beat. And we are planning to sign up other artists as well. So I see a good scope in the future. And my goal is to take this talented artist into a bigger platform. So that's You can make that request right now if you want. Yeah, yeah, so if you guys are making English music and you are dreaming to become a bigger artist and to be an artist on an international platform, uh, it's a big goal and we all need to work together to get there. So I think uh, we all need to get together and create the platform because if we work individually, it's going to be tough for all of us. So we all need to get together and keep creating good music and it's always good to create singular music it's nothing bad but also we need to focus on creating something we can promote outside our country outside our market that's what i always believe in yeah. so tell us about your future plans for your record label as well as your personal life you know your musical career um record label wise you know what i'm planning is to release all the music i'm sure you heard yeah some music what we have worked on and i have uh, you know uh I believe they can check it on uh, YouTube and SoundCloud. They're going to yeah. be out soon because the label started functioning since last December and we've been working a lot. 
we got a we got a whole load of new music coming out and it's gonna be it's gonna be really uh, you know amazing because I'm impressed with the uh, type of artists that I've been working with seeing the talent that they have so I'm pretty sure it's something that everybody can look forward to and and also there have been artists uh, we, we started doing Instagram live sessions and Facebook live sessions and a lot of artists have been getting back getting through to me saying we would like to sign up how would we like to how are we, uh, can we work with you guys so the feedback has been really good so I'm planning to work with this new artist also so I have some which I have lined up right now so um, yeah let's see how it goes yeah yeah and also it's like now with the uh, COVID pandemic and yeah. all the things that's happening around the world now everything has taken a back seat so as an artist how do you see the live entertainment scene go for it has been very challenging to all the artists I guess because artists who used to survive by doing gigs and making music, they have taken a big hit. And I think the COVID pandemic has affected almost everybody. So I I personally know certain, certain artists who has given up being an artist and they have, you know, started doing day jobs because it's not easy to, you know, uh, make a living out of being an artist. And I'm sure we all have seen all these big artists, you know, coming in media and saying the entertainment industry is going down and they are expecting some support from the government as well. So I know it's tough and uh, that is one reason I want to help this artist because I've been blessed and that I didn't have to give, give up making music even though it's a pandemic. So I've been blessed in that way. So I want to help people, I want to support people who does not have the privilege of you know using a studio and but it all comes with a you know with a reliability where they have a will to become a bigger artist where they have uh, where they need to have talent as well as they need to have passion so passion is what matters the most true indeed so what do you think about the virtual live events you think that will not kick off in Sri Lanka I hope they will because that is something that uh, we are still getting used to, I guess. Yeah. Um, there were a couple. There were a couple yeah, of, a couple uh, of things, yeah. virtual concerts, but I think we definitely can push it to the next level. So I see a lot of international artists doing tiny days concerts, but it all comes to the fact that it all revolves around the cost and you know getting people in. And um, what I feel like. That we need to improve is getting more sponsors to support artists to do bigger things because we have the talent not that we don't we have the talent to hit an international market it just we need support from people who are who sees this talent and who uh, you know wholeheartedly wants to help artists to reach a bigger stage true indeed my last question to you. yes um, who do you have to thank in your musical journey so far First, I have to thank my parents, uh, my late dad, my mom, and my brother AJ, and uh, my bandmate Nalin, and Enzo, my producer, and my sound engineer, Babe on the Beat, and uh, you, because you have been a friend to me since a <laughs> uh, long musical, because I remember we first met more than a decade. Yeah. More than a decade. So, you were a DJ when I performed yeah. in a gig, and that's how we met. And uh, there are a lot of people that I had to thank, and also Hari Nair, my buddy from India, and he's also into like he's he's into big stuff. He's making music for movies, and uh, everybody who helped me, everybody who I could mention names and who has been there for me as a friend. Tisara Karubiti, definitely, because Tisara is somebody uh, who always convinced me being there for me as a brother. And he was telling me, oh, buddy, you need to do this, you need to do that. He calls me every night. He's like, buddy, when is that song coming out? Because he has listened to all my music. He's like, buddy, when is that song coming out? What are you doing? What is the plan for this song? So big shout out to everybody who has been there for me, who has supported. And um, yeah. Any new music coming up soon? I have, I have so much. I have so much of projects that I've worked on. Uh, my problem is, you know, I would like to give an advice to all the artists who are coming up. 
don't be a perfectionist now i've been doing music for about 25 years and my downfall was i was a perfectionist i was sitting on my music i was working on my music and i always want to make them perfect but they never came out so i lost a lot of years because of that so it's now that i realize you know, being, being a perfectionist does not work for you when you are an artist so you need to keep working make sure you finish your projects make sure you release them and uh, get to another project keep working release music and that's what you need to do right with that advice let's just be you at yours thank, <laughs> thank you, you so Vino. much for uh, spending time with us on the simple talk segment thank you very much for having me you know simple talks with me all it's a pleasure and uh, and you are somebody i always respect and thank you so much so make sure you all go check me out on all social media spike universe spikeuniverse.com i got some good music coming out soon myself enzo and also be on the beat also go check out my record label spike universe records so we got some we got some good coming your way i am going to give them some new music soon for sure for sure <laughs> i will don't forget to subscribe us as well uh, chakra tv you can search us uh, on facebook as well don't forget is the original spike 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 vevo spike universe records worldwide spike thank universe. you so much catch you again buddy much love signing out